Okay, for this project, guys, we're creating our own version of a totem pole. We're not going to be copying what we saw in the pictures earlier. We're not using animals and looking at up any of that stuff because what we're doing is we just looked at it to understand what totem was, but we're going to create our own totem. Now, you have a choice, guys. If you have a toilet paper roll available, you could use this to make a 3D one, or we can use the paper, and I'll show you how to make something with that as well so it's its own. So I'll start with this one. And then I'll redo another one for those of you guys who don't have the toilet paper roll, okay? It's, it's the same drawing process, but I have to show you how to fold this one. All right. So let's see if we can zoom in. Perfect. So I split my toilet paper roll into three squares. And if you remember on the PowerPoint, if you need to, guys, you can always go back and pause and check. But you have to pick three things. The top square, needs to you need to pick or create a symbol for a word that describes you best. So maybe you're kind, maybe you're smart, or maybe you just think you're really good looking or helpful, athletic, or artistic. Pick one that you think is the best description of you. Which one, if you were to have people talk about you, you want them to say this. So I said I would pick smart, because I do feel like I'm a pretty smart person. I'm a teacher. And what we need to do is come up with some symbols. And we know we see symbols, they represent other things. So some different things that you could use for smart is you could do it, draw like a little apple to represent like, you know, giving your, being a smart and handing it, giving an apple to your teacher. Some person might maybe draw like a brain. I mean, you have to be pretty smart to have a good use of a brain. Another thing I saw is you could also draw a light bulb, like you're bright or you're smart. So it's really up to you. I mean, you can find a whole lot more symbols. You can even Google search it later. But I think I'm gonna go with an apple since I'm a teacher. It only feels right. So I want to make sure my drawing fits the space. I'm not drawing super tiny. So I'm going to draw a ginormous apple like so. And it's going to be a little hard for you guys to see it because, you know, this is a round surface. But just try your best. And I'm going to give it a stem. And you can kind of see the leaf. I'll make it shiny. So my apple of smartness. The second box you need, or middle square, draw a symbol for something you like to do. I mean, you can play video games, sports, watch Netflix. I'm gonna pick, I love reading books a lot. So I'm gonna actually create a stack of books. And I'm gonna make my books different sizes, like make some skinnier, some wider. You just make it look really interesting. Remember, you're trying to touch from this line to that line because you want them to look like they're stacked. And no matter what you're drawing, you want it to touch from line to line. That way everything looks like it's on top of each other. I'm going to make this one kind of like a small book that probably shouldn't be in the middle, but why not? And one last book right there. And in a few minutes, I'll put some names on those books just for fun. The bottom square, guys, is what we're going to draw a symbol for your favorite subject in school. So what do you enjoy doing the most at school? Do you like doing math, science, art, music, or gym, social studies, or even language arts? What's your favorite thing when, you, when you're learning? What do you love to learn about? Well, I am the art teacher, so I'm going to have to draw myself something for art. So I'm going to create what we call painter's palette. It's one of those fancy little trays that artists use to put their paint on. They can hold in their hand. You'll see here in just a second. So remember, I'm starting from that line because I want everything touching. And I'm creating my artist palette. It's a little, a little trickier when you're drawing a, an object that's not flat. Ooh, not as nice as I want it to look. That's okay. Not everything's perfect in this world. I'll fix it a little later. We have a little hole right there. And blue blob paint. Blob of paint, other blob, other blob, other blob. And there you have it. These are my three objects that represent me. Um, I'm gonna stop here. I'll show you how to fold the paper. So let me grab that. So if you don't have the toilet paper roll, you can do the same thing on paper. I would just suggest maybe, I'm gonna take it. And we're going to turn it so, sorry, I should have turned my camera the other way. Haha, <laughs> silly me. I'm going to move that out of the way, guys, sorry. This is the joys of realizing I didn't plan quite ahead. 
So the trick with this is we're going to take this, we're going to fold it like a, I like to call it a menu. And maybe you might need someone to help you out with it. So menu style. So it kind of opens up like a trifold. Let me move my camera back so you can. All right. So we're actually looking at the back. So what you will be doing is keep those folded for now. And you're going to do the same thing like you did with your uh, toilet paper. Create three boxes. And it's the same thing. You're going to be able to recreate your design. If you, like I said, if you don't have this, you just do that. After you draw everything, you know, it pops up and it's 3D. All right. I'm going to fast forward and show you the examples of what they look like with a uh, black marker on them. We are not coloring today, guys, okay? Do not color anything. Okay, so now looking at this, guys, you only have one of these. I just made two because if you don't have this, you can work with paper. So now I'm just going to go in. You can either use a black crayon or a black pen. Or even better yet, if you have a black marker of some kind. Go ahead and trace everything in, and that is all you're doing for this week. No coloring. Oops, I uh, messed up on that uh, fast forward feature, so here they are. All done, traced. No color yet. All right, I look forward to seeing yours.